Hi everyone, this is Alan, G4LVV, and before we start, this is my very first video for YouTube, so I'm sure there'll be lots of errors here. This is my unboxing of the new Kydera CDR300 UV. It's a mini digital DMR and analog mobile radio. I ordered this back in April, mid-April, and it's taken approximately seven weeks to get here. There have been delays upon delays. So let's start by getting the box open. Right, so first thing is, because of the delay, they offered me a free antenna. So there we go, free mobile antenna. Looks very much like a diamond antenna. Dual band, 2 and 70. Okay, what else have we got? Okay. Ah, a mobile gutter or boot lid mount. That was free as well. Packaging, packaging. Okay. Here we have the box. Wow. Okay, so totally unmarked. No branding. <clears throat> so we have three boxes and, ah, a programming lead. So two pin programming lead, USB on the other end, very similar to the Anytone 878. Uh, the bow fangs I suppose are similar. TYT, Retivus. Okay. Three boxes. <clears throat> I'm guessing one of these will contain the radio. So let's try this one first. Aha! Okay, so here we go. The radio. So what else have we got? Speaker microphone, some screws, and the mobile mounting bracket. Great. And a small antenna. I'm presuming this is for the GPS. Okay. 
speaker microphone, Cat6, cable on it, and this bit is supposed to be magnetic. Let's see if I've got something we can attach that to. Yep, that is definitely magnetic. And various numbers, hopefully that's in focus. Numbers on the fist mic, PTT, reasonable PTT, what looks like an LED there. Hook there would go through, I guess. Okay. And now to the radio. Camera stop focusing. We have on the top of the radio the power button P1, P2, P3, which are user programmable volume. It says squelch, tone, and tone select, and B and E, whatever they are, I don't know. Front of the radio. There's a knob, that feels okay, and yes, it's a push knob as well. The screen is a TFT colour display, and it will show two channels, so it's obviously 50-50. An LED, and a speaker, nothing underneath it. Ah. Okay, so this panel here, I'm presuming speaker and mic is really, it's probably off another radio, but I'm guessing that's where the programming lead will go. On the back of the radio, power lead, a female SMA, yeah, for the GPS antenna to connect to. SO239 female and that is 50 ohms and this is unusual according to the specification when I ordered the radio there was just a heatsink across the back they've now incorporated a fan on the heatsink and I'm looking through you can actually see through to the circuit boards inside obviously for cooling yeah Okay, very nice. Smart little radio. So, specifications on this. It is 10 watts on low power and 20 watts on high power. And that's the same for both DMR and analog. The audio output from the speaker is apparently half a watt. Doesn't seem like a lot, but We'll see if it's any good. Operating frequencies on UHF 400 to 480 meg. VHF 136 to 174 meg. It will store 4,000 channels and 16 zones. It will do both wide and narrow FM. And it will record up to 200 hours of QSOs. Not that that's of any use to me, but uh, I'm sure some people will like that. It will do DMR, Moto Turbo Tier 1 and Tier 2. It will do private call, group call, which of course you need for DMR, and repeater roaming. It will do messaging and it will, within a few weeks, be available from one of the leading emporiums in the UK. They received a sample yesterday, same time I received mine and they are currently testing it before they decide to market it. What did it cost? Well. I bought it direct from China, 
and it was priced in US dollars and I paid $99 for the radio, $6 for the programming lead, $10 for the GPS. I'm presuming that was for the GPS antenna and if not then I'm guessing it would be for the GPS board inside. My gut feeling is that $10 was for the antenna and the radio comes with the GPS board inside as standard. The sting in the tail was the carriage, DHL, 50 US dollars to get it to me. I thought that was a bit steep, but they would not come down on the price on the haulage. They said it was just down to DHL's charges. I must admit it was great. I was able to, once I had the consignment number, follow it all the way from the factory through to Hong Kong, clearing their customs, arriving in East Midlands Airport, clearing to Bristol and then to home here. First thoughts, looks very nice, smart, compact and just to give a comparison, here is my Anytone 878. And you can see how small it is. Very small indeed. It's almost small enough to be a handheld. From the information I've received, they do two other radios like this. They do the 200 UV which is analogue only and they do a 4 LTE network radio which again is the same size as this which obviously only does network radio. It doesn't do DMR or analogue. So first thoughts, very nice. Next video will be on air. So thanks for watching my first unboxing video. This is G4LVV saying 73s for now.